How can I describe one of the most fascinating experiences of my life? I've been dreaming about going to Washington, D.C. since I was six years old. Sometimes a complete stranger can shape your life. And I was like, oh yeah, this is it. This is what I want. But rarely do you get the opportunity to meet that person. So next to her, I wrote smart and serious. For Christine Rodriguez, that stranger was Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Her legal principles and her legal decisions reflected a concern um, for individuals who come to this country to seek a better life, to uh, get, achieve the American dream. This year, Christine found out she was selected to be sworn into the Supreme Court bar, where she would have the opportunity to meet Ginsburg one on one in January. I wanted to thank her for her tireless work um, as an attorney, but also as a woman, as a pioneer in this field. The last time Christine had seen Ginsburg was in 1994, when as a high school senior, she was selected to observe the Supreme Court justices in action. The news of Ginsburg passing was tough. So my eyes started to water. As a Latina, Christine has concerns over some key decisions the Supreme Court will make in the coming term and who will be a part of the decision-making process. Health care through the Affordable Care Act is an issue that's going to be coming up before the Supreme Court. Many Obamacare opponents hope the court eliminates it completely. President Donald Trump says he will replace Obamacare with something better. Latinos in, in this country still have issues with health coverage. They have higher rates of health conditions, of diabetes, heart conditions. The power of the Latino vote has never been stronger than it is now. A Pew Research study says there are 32 million eligible Latino voters. Mari Carmen Puente Castellano says there's an awakening happening in the community. I don't care what lots of you vote, but make a number here. Castellano says she wants a Supreme Court that reflects the diversity of today's America. Little by little, people are forgetting that immigrants made this country and the representation is needed. A need for representation, Christine says, can only be met in one way. The more we vote, the more politicians know they have to listen, and that's the way you get their attention. In Long Beach, California, I'm Gabby Rodriguez reporting.